the old era of your favorite character staying at the top of timeline battle for two plus years is pretty much over the times are changing the wheels are forever turning and i am here for it and today we're going to be having some fun using echo the newest newest contender in timeline right i want to see how well she does i gave her a pvp build and she's not looking too bad. Let's see how she does against Adam, since she has a type advantage. Adam is one of the new faces of Timeline Battle, and I love it. I love this um, current era of Marvel Future Fight, where there's like so many different options that are viable. And um, you know what's crazy? Yesterday, I had someone hit me up complaining about how when Gilgamesh came out, like, what, five, six months ago? How I hyped him up so much saying he was the number one PvP character in the game. He was pretty much unkillable. And now, where is he? No one's using him. It's almost as if people don't realize that Marvel Future Fight, unlike most games, is a living, breathing entity that's forever changing. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the era of Marvel Future Fight where they were never replacing the PvP characters, there was no ban list, Jean Grey was the top character for two years, that's done and over with, that's never coming back. They've decided, and rightfully so, that they want more and more characters to be viable for PvP, and although Echo doesn't have the best PvP kit because she doesn't have a counter attack or iframe ignore, you can see she's quite competent. She's taking out two staples in timeline battle. R granted, the team is built around her, right? Anyways, the point is, had a couple people, one of them was more rude than the others, but um, complaining that I overhyped Yogamesh, but that's not actually the case. The thing is, the game changed a lot. Frankly, there's no going back. In the last couple months, to be specific, we've been getting more and more PvP characters. For example, they dropped Hela, and she makes it so that superheroes take more damage right so obviously Gilgamesh who was an unkillable god before is no longer such in addition to that characters are way stronger now than they were I will say without the startup time from Colossus she does struggle a little bit I will say Colossus buys her a little bit of extra time to get into her stride but once she gets into her stride um, she's actually quite quite capable I just wish she had I frame ignore I think that's the one thing if if I had one major complaint with the character is that she doesn't have I frame ignore because if she did have I frame ignore she would be like completely busted and a lot of people are I guess underestimating her and a couple people who messaged me complaining about Gilgamesh being nowhere in timeline and whatnot they're seeming to forget the thing that uh is pretty much the elephant in the room right now. If you look at uh, Timeline Battle, there's two characters that are staple these days. Emma Frost and Adam Warlock. They both have a type advantage over Gilgamesh. There's not that many speed characters, so there's no need for you to use Gilgamesh. If we had four or five characters that were as strong as Spider-Man and they were speed, best believe Gilgamesh will be coming back. We have this rock, paper, scissors effect going on in Timeline Battle right now. And I love it. And I hope we get more speed characters that are viable. I think Echo is just on the cusp of being good enough. All right, let's see how she does against a fully stacked team here. Well, I guess this one is more so stacked for Sentry to win, to be honest. If Sentry loses this, um, I would be, well, I was gonna say I would be shocked. What's on the Sentry? Regen, okay. Wow, Sentry lost. Okay, Hella, what's on you? This is a Hella with her artifact and a CTP of destruction, which is a very, very good build. I believe this is a four star artifact for Hella. I don't even have the artifact for, um, for, uh, oof, wow. So Colossus is the one that killed her. <laughs> Lord Colossus on the reflay. So you can kind of see that although most people are hating on her, she's, she's actually quite competent when it comes to PVP. Let's see how she does when Molecule Man eliminates the Colossus and Hella passive slash uniform buffs. Does she still have what it takes to take out Sentry? I'm not too sure why this guy is running this team because his own 
molecule man is shutting off his colossus so <laughs> we both have no damage reduction either way it looks like it's a w for us i think the time is coming very very soon for um <laughs> for us to get a central uniform but i don't want it yet i want more characters to be viable before he moves back up to the top i'm just saying but uh wow his colossus just um smoked mine what's on his i think it's just really luck of the draw when it comes to the reflect i want to fight pv this guy has a really good build let's see how it goes oof that authority on her is nice it's not even a perfect roll either oof she just hit for 260 like 260,000 and it's not even type advantage Ooh, ooh, yo she she just kicked adam straight in the throat holy she be she be aiming for soft spots Come on, come on, come on. How is, he, how is he blocking everything? Oh my gosh. Wow. Yo, you got to give her her flowers. You guys got to give her her flowers. She's been on the cusp of death and she's literally just bouncing back. It's such a shame that it took away her passive healing for this uniform. Because with the base kit, she can always be healing. Now, they did give her two heals, right? On two different skills to replace it. But you can see that if she had the passive heal, she would have just gone right back up to full health. But it doesn't matter. She still got a W. Let's run that back. After this, we're going to go fight, uh, I guess, Carl, Vicky, and, you know, those big blubbery whales. See how we do. We don't have any Odins on her either, so it's nice to see her as a challenger. Now, some of y'all be like, yo, what's this goofy-ass team? The thing is... It doesn't matter what team I'm using. Look at the teams that I'm fighting and I'm winning. Right? What I'm doing to win doesn't matter. The results matter more. Okay? Anyways. You're going to be like, yo, this is a goofy team. Nobody would ever run this team. But here's the thing. The teams I'm beating are actually meta teams. So why wouldn't you run it? You feel me? She's way cheaper than Adam Warlock to build if you have cash to spend. Right? And here's the thing, if if your characters are bad, like let's say they bad Adam and you know all the characters, hey, she's a viable option. All right, so let's go fight. I think Doctor Doom has her number because of the long iframes and the fact that she doesn't have iframe ignore. There's a high probability that Doctor Doom is gonna kill her, but let's see. Yeah, he's sitting in iframes and she has no iframe ignore. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Doom has her number. So even though Doom is getting pushed down in the meta, he still has some advantages over other characters. Mm. Like, for example, Adam Warlock against Doom, Adam will win pretty much 9 out of 10 times. Adam Warlock against my Echo, my Echo is winning 9 out of 10 times. But my Echo against Doom, you see what I'm saying? There's this, like, <laughs> this rock, paper, scissors effect that's happening in the timeline and it's it's very very good i like it it's healthy right let's see if she can actually beat the doom if not i'll try to get the yeah i don't think so i'll try to get the doom out of there and then see if i can fight his adam because i would like to fight his adam his adam i believe has a cdp of energy yeah she she can't get through dr doom all right so let's fight arthur all right let's see what we got here boys come on wow Took a lot of damage out the gate. This man has a lot of power on that sentry. Come on. Okay, we got him. Oof. Oof. Holy. Out of my killer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He got her. Yep. <clears throat> 9 out of 10, but uh, this Adam is the one, eh? Yikes. Feels bad, but it is what it is. I do like the... The rock, paper, scissors effect that's going on. Um, looks like my Hela is going to catch the W. Um, yeah, alright, cool. Maybe I should give her a little bit of startup, but I don't want to help her too much. I want to see if you run her as a lead because she does have a good lead. Well, you'd always want to run her as a lead, but I want to see if like it's just on full auto and you're not tagging anything. 
if she can still like clean up you know oof come on slide there we go girl power slide i know we already have a power woman but you can be number two come on come on oh man she was sitting in she was sitting in her awakened skill for too long if she had used her fourth skill instead she would have actually got the w i think i think if she had just like used her um her fourth skill instead of her awakened skill she would have survived that's a that's a yikes all right let's go fight somebody else all right i'm curious to see how she does against emma frost so we're going up against Raphael, and she cut through a team filled with three meta heroes let's see how this goes come on girl show us your worth all right you can take down a sentry we know that already can you kill him again yes you can now how do you deal with the queen that is emma frost okay you completely ignore any damage from her third skill and then you straight up kill her okay how about the adam warlock all right the adam warlock is uh not really giving you too much problems well actually he might because he has authority nope he doesn't all right you, you power slide it on him okay all right i know there's gonna be somebody in the comments telling me yo you're overhyping this character da, 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 da. i'm going up against the strongest characters in the game with some of the strongest builds i'm going up against people who are in the top 20 or top 25 or top 50 in timeline people who have won challenger multiple times so the fact that she's doing really well listen i'm not creating an environment for her to win i'm putting her in the harshest environment if anything i'm actively working against the character and she's still finding a way to win all right i just gave her what i think to be like her best team or one of her best teams but this is not the only team that will work for her spider-man is a big part of timeline right now so you could easily drop i don't know colossus out of this team and put spider-man in there and before you know it you're clapping up a lot of people because the people that who she would struggle against spider-man would probably kill like dr doom like nine out of ten times spidey's gonna win against doom okay um I'm not, I'm not too sure why he decided to put authority on Adam Warlock. I don't think that's a good way to go. Maybe it's for AC purposes. Let me run that back one more time. It is unfortunate that they decided to ban so many characters this week for timeline in the Vibranium and Challenger Leagues because I would like to fight a few more characters. Ideally, I'd like to see how she does against Spider-Man, like a really well-built Spider-Man. I could fight a Spider-Man, but I'd have to go down to like platinum or gold or you know one of those low level leagues where yeah I could probably easily clap those guys up because they don't have good cards or you know what I'm saying good build for their characters or better builds than me but I would prefer to fight people who have better cards and better builds than me like these guys with like 100% max HP and 150% attack and mighty and brilliant CTPs right so I probably will test her out in private against um a spider-man and stuff once um the restrictions allow me to do so but i will tell you this she has a lot of value and i am seeing it and i am loving it okay it gives me something else to play with in timeline battle or in alliance conquest so this is the build for her boys we got a mighty authority with steel unfortunately it's not five seconds of invincibility and it's not five percent on the all attack buff so she could definitely be better She's only a uh, type 5, so she could do more damage to Adam Warlock and Emma Frost's and take less damage from them if it was type 6. And she doesn't have any Odin's Blessings, so I could give her more HP if I decided to um, give her 4 heal Odin's Blessings. So we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. I know most of you guys are probably still going to say she is mid or trash or whatever, but to each his own. I personally think she offers a good bit of variety because of her leadership giving you attack and defenses and then on top of that as a standalone character her damage is decent for pve but she's actually quite capable 
for PvP if you want to counter some of the new staples in Emma Frost and Adam Warlock. And as you can see, the old staples like Sentry, she can easily clap him up as well. The only one that really gives her trouble that I fought this week anyways is actually Doctor Doom. But obviously, once more characters are viable, I will test her again and see how she does against them. I would have liked to fight Silver Surfer and more specifically Thanos. I think Thanos would probably crush her. I think she would crush Jean Grey, but I think Spider-Man, Thanos, Doctor Doom, and probably even Cersei might have a good chance of completely annihilating her. So it's unfortunate that the top leagues this week blocked them out. Another time, I guess. I'll catch you in the next one.